Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Travis and I kind of wanted to do a quick video for you to kind of highlight a new scam that's going around and this involves domain names and um, basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to target people who will just blindly pay invoices and just get some money that way. Um, so I'm going to take a look at this ticket right here that came in to my domains mailbox and it's for uh, gonodespace.com which is a domain that I primarily do business with. Now unfortunately for these scammers they're not very intelligent because uh, they should know that I sell domains so I kinda know how the system works and this is not how the system works. Now if I was like Bob's Widgets and I worked in accounting and got this. Yeah, I would probably pay this because, you know, I, I want to make sure that our website stays online. Um, basically, this is just like phishing. The only difference is they're stealing money from you. So let's take a look at uh, the red flags here. So that way you can kind of keep an eye out uh, for any of these emails that come through. Uh, first off, it got sent by info at liftersonline.com which does not sound like any sort of uh, domain registrar at all. Uh, second, you'll see that your domain service account is pending cancellation. Oh no. Uh, if we look at the expiration date, uh, March 3rd, 2019, gonodespace.com does not expire until January of 2020 uh, because I do one year renewals on everything. Um, that's just how I like to do my domains. I like to do everything in one year. So this is a red flag. Um, if we look down here, it's five days overdue. Oh no. So first off, we haven't even hit uh, March 3rd yet uh, because this came in two days ago on February 22nd. Uh, we're keeping your service for GoNodeSpace.com online as you are still within our grace period. Oh, how nice of them. And we want to ensure the best possible service for you. Well, aren't you just so kind? Uh, your account is in danger of being suspended if we do not receive your payment soon. Oh no, please pay your notice here to avoid service disruption. So what happens is somebody in accounting clicks this link, pay online, and you'll notice that we're doing a lot of redirects and eventually we land on clickinject.com and this site is actually pretty funny. So we have our domain gonodespace.com and we have our different plans. We have one year, two years, five years, eight years, and ten years. And you'll notice that they're uh, $86 for one year, $137 for two years, uh, $319 for five years, and so on. All in the hopes that you'll click this link, credit card, and you say, okay, yeah, I understand. Uh, you know, they only accept, you know, Visa, MasterCard. Uh, they got some nice fancy logos here, and you'll notice that we've been set to bringallpay.com. And they want $86, so I fill out my information, I hit pay. And the next thing I know, I think I paid my domain for the year and I'm all set, or I paid my domain for 10 years and I'm all set. No, <laughs> no, that's not what they're doing. They are just collecting money. That's all they're doing. They're just collecting money. They're not doing anything regarding your domain name. And that's because I manage my own domain name through enom.com, that is my registrar, that's who I pay. So it's very important for you to make sure that your who is information, so whoever your domain registrar is, whether it's GoDaddy, whether it's enom, whether it's NodeSpace, it's a shameless plug, um, no matter what, make sure your contact information is up to date. If you are, uh, if you're have a business and 
your domains and you have a domain or several domains, make sure it's going to the person who's in charge of IT, not accounting, not the CEO, IT. And that is because IT will get an email like this and they will know it's one, not from the registrar, and two, it's a scam and they'll just delete it and they won't forward it on to anybody. Um, and to kind of show you how and what I mean by this, you know, why these, uh, let's go back here. To show you how this, why this actually is a scam, watch this. Look at that. I just, uh, you know, I'm trying to get Google and, uh, you know, they just kind of take the values here. So within this link, you'll notice down at the bottom, some values are kind of encoded there. And all that does is redirect you and it decodes it. And it's just plopping in these values here. So you'll notice that the, the price is no, doesn't change. It doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if I put in .info, still $86. I could put in a totally bogus, well that one won't work, um, I could put in totally bogus, .com FFF is not a valid uh, top level domain, but they'll charge me $86 for it, so you know I can just uh, click here and uh, you know they will happily take my money for it even though it is incorrect so keep that in mind that's what these are this is just a pure scam only deal with your domain registrar the other so let's kind of take a look at some of the red flags here first the expiration date um, there's some urgency they're they're saying that it's going to be uh, canceled uh, the high price tag that's a big one. Oh. We're suddenly overdue, yet it expires March 3rd, 2019. Don't know how it can be overdue yet. And uh, they're acting like good guys. Oh, you're within our grace period. We want to ensure the best possible service for you. And then here comes the urgency. Your account's in danger of being suspended if we don't receive payments soon. Um, just to let you keep, or just to keep in mind, you should not be paying anywhere around this amount uh, for a domain name. If we go on over to NodeSpace, you'll see that $11.75 a year is what we're currently charging uh, for a .com domain. If you're paying plus or minus $5 of this, you're good. If you're paying more than that, you need to start searching around uh, because you'll notice here a lot of our domains are fairly priced. We have a few like .bar, these are obviously higher. Uh, .ceo uh, is eighty-eight seventy-five, dollars uh, and that is because, well, that's how they wanted to price their domains, so that's uh, what they get. But a .com does not cost over $80. So keep that in mind. Um, just wanted to bring this to your attention. Make sure you go into your registrar, update the settings, the email settings. Make sure all those emails go to IT and nobody else, because uh, you don't want to think, oh, I just, you know, I paid eighty-six dollars to keep our domain for a year, and we're good till twenty twenty when really it's going to expire in January and you're going to get yet another bill. So you don't want to find yourself out some money. So hopefully this helped you guys out. So thank you so much for watching.